so much. The staff at a Denver hospital is coming together to bring some spooky fun to patients. Our Tori Mason is at the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. And Tori, I understand they're calling this reverse trick or treating. Okay, explain that to us. Exactly, Britt. Getting dressed up and going out to collect free candy is something kids look forward to all month. Unfortunately, some are too sick on Halloween to go out. That's why the hospital came up with reverse trick-or-treating. Since many of the patients at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children can't leave their rooms, the staff brought Halloween to them. Hospital staff put on costumes and will be knocking on patients' doors throughout the day. But instead of saying trick or treat, they gave out baskets full of goodies. A few parents even brought costumes so their kids could join in on the fun. Faith's family brought her this awesome llama corn hat to wear today. Faith and her brother can't go trick or treating together tonight, so he sat at her bedside while the staff brought her candy. Because it's my favorite holiday and I get a bunch of candies and I get to hang out with my friends. We obviously want to do everything that we can do to help them uh, experience the same you know, holiday as their friends and peers that aren't hospitalized. And so just you know, any little thing that we can do to you know, bring a smile to their face, that's what we're shooting for. Now, this reverse trick-or-treating is just the first of many events the hospital puts on for its patients through the holidays. The staff says being able to work with these children is priceless, but on days like this, they just can't believe they're getting paid. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. That is so sweet in more ways than one. Thank you, Tori.